Others who represented Iowa in postseason all-star events included quarterback Mark Blassie. Blasek, a 6'3", 206-pound senior from Monaca, Pennsylvania, waited a long time for his chance to play, having been the understudy to the Big Ten's all-time leading passer, Chuck Law. While the wait was a test of patience, he quickly proved he was a major league performer. Ten play, he was the nation's number one ranked passer. And even though he was slowed by injury and never fully recovered from midseason shoulder miseries, he still wrapped up the campaign as the fifth best passer in the country and was invited to represent Iowa in the Japan Bowl. Also to play in the Japan Bowl was wide receiver Robert Smith, a 5'11", 172-pound senior from Dallas, Texas. Smith wrapped up his career at Iowa, holding the school records for the most touchdown receptions and punt return yardage. performances of note were turned in by Peter Marciano and Quinn Early. Marciano, a 5'9", 165-pound redshirt freshman from Brockton, Massachusetts, entered the season with his major athletic claim to fame being that he was the nephew of former world heavyweight boxing champion Rocky Marciano. But by the end of the 86 campaign, he had earned his own sports notoriety. On November 22nd against Minnesota, he turned in the longest punt return of the Big Ten season, an 89-yard masterpiece for a touchdown that helped spark the Iowa comeback in their Big Ten finale. At season's end, Marciano was the Big Ten leader in punt return yardage. Also of note was the performance turned in by wide receiver Quinn Early. Early, a six-foot, 175-pound senior from Great Neck, New York, who missed the first six games of the season because of a shoulder injury, displayed mid-season form during the first start in 1986. Against the Wildcats, his second catch of the year was good for 93 yards and a touchdown. The longest reception for the season in the Big Ten. At game's end, he totaled four grabs good for 133 yards. Another all-star representative for the Hawkeyes was cornerback Ken Sin. Sims, a 5'9", 177-pound senior from East St. Louis, Missouri. During the season, led the Hawkeyes in passes broken up with 13. Sims, a four-year letter winner, was also invited to play in the Hula Bowl.
ending the regular season with a dramatic last-second win against Minnesota. The Iowa Hawkeyes headed to San Diego, California to meet San Diego State in the Holiday Bowl. Going in, the Hawkeyes were heavy favorites. After all, Iowa had the nation's ninth-best offense, complemented by the eighth-best defense in the country. And maybe even more important, the Hawkeyes were healthy for the first time since the beginning of the regular campaign. But San Diego State, the surprise winners of the Western Athletic Conference, were more than accustomed to being the underdog, as it was the role they played during the entire season. The game began with the Aztecs of San Diego State setting up its offense on their own 27-yard line. When they broke huddle, there was little doubt that the fast-minded Aztecs would do what they had done best the entire season, and that was put the ball in the air. On the first play of the game, quarterback junior Todd Santos, the all-time leading passer in San Diego State history, went to the air. But his first attempt would have to wait, as he was greeted by all Big Ten performer, defensive tackle Jeff Dross. In three plays, the Aztecs were only able to move the ball one yard. And at the 13-21 mark in the first quarter, it was Iowa on the offense for the first time. The drive began on the Hawkeye 20. And although it was not creative, this offensive possession proved that Iowa could dominate the interior play. The Hawkeyes clicked off nine plays, all on the ground, eight of which featured the running skills of the Big Ten's second leading rusher in Rick Bayless. Even though the drive stalled on the San Diego State 26-yard line and resulted in no points, it appeared the Hawkeyes would have this one well in hand. A feeling that was to be enhanced on the next San Diego State possession. With the ball first and 10 at the Aztecs' own 26-yard line, quarterback Todd Santos went looking for some quick yardage, but instead found Iowa cornerback Keaton Smiley. Smiley's interception and subsequent return of 25 yards set up the Hawkeyes' first and goal to go at the five. With already 57 yards and eight carries to his credit, it was only fitting that Rick Bayless do the honors. So at the 8-10 mark, it was Iowa 7 and San Diego State nothing. But the feeling of dominance was to be short-lived as San Diego State had no intentions of giving up. With a surprisingly balanced offensive attack, San Diego State closed to within a single point at the end of the first quarter, 7 to 6. And by the end of the first half, it was San Diego State 21 and Iowa 13. With momentum in their favor, the Aztecs were determined not to let the Hawkeyes back in the game. At the 7.52 mark of the third quarter, San Diego State led 28 to 13. And with just under 15 minutes left in the game, the lead was still sizable at 35 to 21. But Iowa, like San Diego State, was far from calling it quits. With 10-15 to go in the game, the Hawkeyes began one of the great comebacks in the history of the Holiday Bowl. Taking possession near midfield, the drive stalled on the San Diego State 29-yard line. But with time running out and trailing by 14, Mark Vlasic on fourth and four dropped back to pass looking for the first down. But what he found was tight end Marv Cook and a 29-yard touchdown completion. But the drama of the drive was far from over. Trailing by seven, it was almost like head coach Hayden Fry knew the Hawkeyes were in for a photo finish. What San Diego State saw looked like a one-point conversion attempt. But the decision was to go for two. Upon receiving the snap, reserve quarterback Chuck Hartley raised and rolled to the right and found tight end Mike Flagg at the end zone for the soon-to-be critical two-point conversion. A conversion that pulled the Hawkeyes within six points, 35 to 29. Then at the very next offensive possession, Iowa marched the ball 70 yards at eight plays, capped off by a Mark Vlasic to Mike Flagg four-yard touchdown strike. And for the first time since the first quarter, the Hawkeyes had regained the lead 36 to 35. But in keeping with a regular season form, the Cinderella kids of San Diego State went 60 yards in nine plays. And with only 46 seconds left to play, regained the lead 38 to 36, thanks to a 21-yard field goal by Kevin Rayhill. 
With the stadium crowd at its feet, Kevin Harmon took the Aztecs' kickoff at the 15-yard line and turned in a brilliant return of 48 yards to set up the Iowa offense of the San Diego State 37, first down and 10. However, Vlasic and company only had 39 seconds to work with. The first play was a David Hudson sweep for six. On second and four, Vlasic stopped the clock with an out-of-bounds pass. On third and four, workhorse Rick Bayless, who led all rushers at game's end with 110 yards, rambled for seven, good for a first down. A first down that again stopped the clock. With time to get set up, Rob Houtland, who had earlier missed from 43 and 49 yards out, needed to connect from 41 yards away if the heroic Iowa comeback was to end in victory. With only four seconds remaining, one of the Big Ten's best pressure place kickers was right on the mark. The final score was Iowa 39 and San Diego State 38. The tradition of Hawkeye football is visible throughout the University of Iowa campus and especially on game day in Kinnick Stadium, renamed in 1972 for Iowa's 1939 Heisman Trophy winner, Niall Kinnick. all-time winningest coach, Iowa has regained its place among the national leaders in major college football. postseason bowl appearances and Kinnick Stadium attendance records becoming an annual event. The men of old gold and black are bringing excitement to the game, symbolizing the winning spirit of the University of Iowa football. beginning of the season, Iowa head coach Hayden Fry said that the defending Big Ten champions were not rebuilding, but were simply reloading. And reload the Hawkeyes did. In 1986, Iowa set a new home attendance record while earning a postseason bowl invitation for the sixth consecutive year. Proof that Coach Fry and his staff are continuing to build the Iowa tradition. <laughs> 